Well, I'm out here at the truck. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of rain this morning, but uh, I'm out here at the truck. I'm going to go ahead and start taking parts off the ick. Strip that all down. But first, I got to go to the shop and get my tools. Oh, and then we'll drive back out here and start working on the ick. That thing fires right up. I think it's somewhere around 80. It's in the 80s somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure what the temperature is, but it's warm, especially in this truck. Still locked in four-wheel drive, so turns aren't the easiest. Oh. Should have latched the hood a little better. Oh well. go grab up some tools and uh, throw them in the back and then head back out and start tearing apart the ick. Well here I am inside the ick. Uh, I think today I'm going to take out the dash and uh, all the little electronics in here. Looks like my uncle already stole the airbag but that's all right. I'll take all this wiring out along with the dash, take the steering column out and put them all up in my garage. Uh, it's kind of an interesting, interesting thing I found on my keychain. I forgot I had. These are little tools you stick in the uh, little diagnostic port on OBD, OBD1 vehicles, and uh, you jump right to different things. And you can, I think, make the fuel pump run, and you can run the diagnostic codes and all that stuff. I got these for free somewhere. I don't know, but they come in handy every now and again. Forgot I had them, so that's. Kind of a nice little bonus, and then uh, maybe tomorrow I'll go under the hood and grab up what's left, which ain't really much, but I'll pop the hood probably tomorrow and see what's what's left. So, guess I better get start get started tearing this sucker apart. Well, I've got the uh, lower part of the dash off now. I uh, just got to go in there and unplug a few things. I can pull that out, and once I'm done with that, I can drop this steering column down. I gotta unbolt it and uh, unplug a bunch of stuff, and then pull that out all as one unit. And then I can start taking uh, taking this upper dash piece off. Well, now, now that I've got that uh, lower part of the dash out of the way, I was able to uh, unplug this. What you gotta do is just uh, take a socket and take that off, and this will come right out. And then there's this wire that. This plugged in up here you got to take out and uh, that's pretty much everything on the steering column that's plugged in except for the airbag which is pull that green thing out and then push on that and it's all unplugged so now I can unbolt the steering column there's a bolt here and same thing on the other side and you've got this bracket here which holds this in so I'll take that off and then uh, that's already disconnected over there. So after I get all those out, I should be able to just pull it straight out. And the only other thing I got here is uh, we've got this, which connects to the speedometer, little uh, springy cable. So I'll have to take I'll have to take that off. And then the the column can come out no problem. All right, I've taken the. Uh, four bolts out and the column is now dropped so now what I've got to do is come in here and take off this shift linkage and uh, undo it from this and then I'll be able to take the uh, take the whole column out um, on these speedometers they have this which is basically just a plastic piece that's wedged in under here and uh, 
you can just pull the speedometer out after you got that off. So that's a good part. And uh, I'll go ahead and pull that pull that shift linkage off and then uh, pull the column out. Well, I've moved on to the other side of the dash now and I'm going to go ahead and take out this uh, this relay center fuse, block, fuse box. I'm going to take this off and then once I get behind there, I don't know if you can see it from here, but that big silver thing back there is the computer. So I'll take that out. And then uh, I'll start taking off the the actual dash itself. Get that out of the way. And I've already got pretty much everything over there out that I want to get out. Everything out of my way. So start uh, tearing this up and then take the dash out. Well, I've got uh, I got everything out of the way there, and uh, pulled these three uh, connectors off that go to the computer. And uh, once you take those off, the computer just snaps out. There's no bolts holding it in. It's just uh, those little plastic plastic clips there that snap in there, so that makes it easier to get out. And now that I've got that done, uh, I might as well start uh, taking the dash out and see if I can't pull the whole thing out at once. Well, after about 15 minutes of uh, laying down in awkward positions and unbolting stuff, uh, I've got the dash out. Now, I don't, I don't think I have any reason to rip out that. Although I might do it, I don't know. All depends on what I feel like doing tomorrow. I still want to get the wiring out and everything, so I may pull that. Well, that's enough for tonight, I think. Uh, got a few parts in the truck. It'll be all right. So I'll probably come back later and think around some more with it. But uh, for now, it's time to eat.